TV magic. Ever wonder how that happens? Ever wonder what KGW means? Let's take a little tour of KGW's 1,000 foot skyline tower and unearth a little KGW history in the process. Nice little backdrop here, the Eiffel Tower. It's an interconnected web of uh, complex devices that gets it to your house. It's more like a minor miracle when you see how that broadcast signal gets from Paris to Portland. It starts as a satellite link coming from NBC. It then goes through our encoders to be encoded into something that the transmitter can understand. Meet Eric Johnson. I'm the supervisor of technology at KGW. Eric and our dedicated team of engineers keep everything running smoothly along thousands of miles of cables through dozens of devices that encode, decode, and upload that signal. Soaring a thousand feet over the top of Portland's West Hills is KGW's tower. First installed in the 1940s, then knocked down by the infamous 1962 Columbus Day storm, engineers restored a signal in a week. The tower was replaced in 1963 and again in 1999, and then refitted just three years ago with a new antenna. Inside? We are putting out 65,000 watts of RF energy. With repeaters placed strategically across the state, that 65,000 watt signal gets modified so we can reach you in Newport, Longview, Baker City, Burns, and places in between. So you can see all your Olympic glory in brilliant 1920 by 1080 HD digital quality. But more important than sports... Um, you've got a bunch of government agencies that still rely on the tower itself. FEMA, the FBI, local first responders, and ham radio operators all use the tower for communications. It's important to the community because if something were to happen, you would have a, a way to receive information that you would possibly not otherwise be able to get. The transmitter site is equipped with backup power and redundancy at every level, making sure you get that information. So how did KGW become KGW? Well, technically it's a Kilo Golf Whiskey. At the time the FCC was distributing call signs, uh, they only anticipated three letters would be enough for anybody that wanted one. That was back in the 1920s. KGW means keep growing wiser. <laughs>